My friend, welcome to Mind Medicine, a show about how to win in the face of difficulties, setbacks, and obstacles. How you think determines how you produce, improve your thinking, and you just might change the world. Hop into my world for a second today, and let's get to work. Daily Mind Medicine. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another Mind Medicine. Going to go up on a rant a little bit today because I have been noticing the use of weak, weak language among my team, some of our clients. You know, there's actual studies now, if you dive into energy, that the words that you say physically, biologically strengthen or weaken your central nervous system. Everything is so wired together. The problem with language is that Something that is not true can still impact you negatively or positively. Truth is not required for something to have an impact on you, which is why this, this is the reason why damaging things can, can be devastating as you grow. It's the reason why bullying is so horrible. It's the reason why you know, if we were only affected by that which was true, then we would have much less problems in the world. But unfortunately – The brain is not hardwired to recognize what is true or false. The brain is hardwired to recognize threat and to protect yourself. And so anyways, we can go down this for a long time and I'm not going to today, but maybe another time. The word that annoys me the most as of late is the word try. I will try to do this. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do this, but I'm so weak that I can't even figure out how to just do. Stop trying. Start doing. Here's the problem with the word try. You don't see NBA all-star players in a press conference talking about how they tried to do this. At the end of the day, they put their shoes on like an adult, laced them up, did their pregame ritual, and they got their asses on the court, and they went to work. They went to work inside of our sales team. We have all these salespeople for all these different businesses and we have a daily meeting and the team split up and we meet with them individually because some, some salespeople are for different programs or different businesses. But one of the number one things that we reinforce daily over and over and over that there is no try. There is only do you as a human being have infinitely more power over everything in your life than you think you do. You were not at the whims of circumstance. You're not at the whims of the weather, the president, the economy, or your market. You are in control of far more than you recognize, but you can't see it because most of the time people's language hedges them in and justifies poor behavior, justifies weakness. Stop trying and start doing. At the end of the day, this is science. This is a process. You wake up in the morning at the time that you said you're going to wake up. You go to the gym or you do whatever your rituals are in the morning based upon what you said you were going to do. You get into the office at the time you said you were going to get into the office. You do the things that you say you're going to do. You put your shoes on and you go to work. There is no luck that LeBron James needs. Michael Jordan didn't need it. Kobe didn't need it. They simply go to work. There's no luck. They're not trying to do anything. They are simply enforcing their will upon the court. And the best way to do that is through controlling their actions. If you control your choices, you control your behaviors. If you control your behaviors, you control the trajectory of your life. No more trying, more doing. Stop using the word. It's dirty and it doesn't help you. There you have it, friends. Time to get to work and bring your best to every situation you find yourself in throughout the day. Never settle push through always. If you found value in today, please pay it forward by introducing someone that you know to the show and leave us a helpful review online. We'll see you tomorrow.